this. What is up, y'all? Back here again with your quick power review. Just going to be touch on um, a couple topics here before the episode premieres tonight, episode five. I got a feeling this is going to be a good one. If I remember correctly last year, I'm just going to be honest, y'all. Um, these past couple episodes, with the exception of four, two and three were mid, man. Very mid um, to the point where I just really didn't feel like talking about them. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to play catch up here. So I'm gonna give y'all a quick review of, uh, episode four, which was slow in some places, but towards the end, man, oh my God, we're going to talk about that. Uh, then of course, episode five is going to be, I think episode five is going to be a banger for, I remember last year I was feeling like this. I'm like, man, they need to pick it up. I ain't really feeling it. And then episode five, boom. So I'm expecting great things. With this next episode, I am going to go into a quick preview um, since <laughs> y'all, uh, I'm trying to get the predictions pack back up, but it's just, damn, it's not working. <laughs> we we going to get it back up though, but uh, this will serve as your predictions uh, show this week, but I'm, I'm going to do that at the end of um, my little wrap up here, but I'm going to try to make this quick. Uh, so let's just talk about the, the top things uh that happened here um uh, i'm i'm gonna save whitman for last man but uh of course uh, i i dang sure want to talk about him uh but let's talk about i know what you did last summer effie uh you did not kill lauren last summer um Effie is going into the Horseman Hall of Fame at the Power Book Two Awards later this year so um be ready for that uh, she definitely earned her place. She did not get the job done. So <laughs> uh, come ex accept your prize later this year. Okay. Um, but yeah, so uh, Kane, uh, Kane is kind of, I don't know what it was at the end of the episode. I don't know if he's like feeling her, like he didn't call feelings or he just lying. Like, no, nah, I ain't going to tell Tariq. I got you. But I don't know. I I, I think Kane, uh, man, Kane, <laughs> you can't, this girl got you wrapped around her finger. Oh my God. But uh, yeah, that's, that's what I, I I'm, I'm not quite sure what's going on with that yet, but I, I'm leaning more on the, um, you know, uh, he catching feelings for her. I'm like, Kane, are you really playing standby, my guy? You, you, that guy, man, you wait for Tariq to fall off or mess up or something. You, you, the guy that's, uh, that's pretending to be the friend until the main guy falls off. Come on, Kane. What you doing, man? Don't do that, man. <laughs> Personal experience. Don't do that. <laughs> All right. Uh, so next up here, uh, let's talk about nobody gives a fuck about the qcp i forgot all about the qcp so uh the rsj guy right um he wants you know uh something for Tariq, but Tariq doesn't know what it is he has this conversation with uh your boy the uh the mvp last year of power book two um uh, he the mvp but i can't remember his name tate <laughs> Tate, uh, go donate to the Tate fund, by the way, go, go follow him on it. Didn't he do that last season? He said, uh, follow me on Twitter. And now he said, follow me on Instagram or something like that. So I, I peeped that, but, um, yeah, I always get a kick out of Tate. I know some folks don't like Tate. He, he kind of feels like he's outlived his purpose as far as book two, but I like him, man. Uh, so RIP power book five. Um, but yeah, so Towards um, early in the episode, of course, uh, Weston Lucas. Yeah, Lucas Weston. He's trying to get RSJ on board. Uh, but, of course, he's holding out, playing hard to get or whatnot until, you know, Tariq figures out what he can give him in exchange. And, of course, that's the QCP building. Um, so <laughs> he don't give a fuck about the QCP. Man, fuck the QCP. Um, so, yeah. Man, how how many episodes did we hear about the QCP? Down with the QCP. Demolish that bitch, please. Uh, so yeah, I, I got a kick out of that. So yeah, um, way to uh knock your father's legacy down, man. 
Um, but of course, I th I think the whole um, the whole I'm not like my father thing. I think that had some to kind of do with it too. So um, yeah, so down with the QCP. Who cares? Uh, speaking of Tariq. Tariq trades in his BMW black man walking. At first, I was like, I was like, he didn't have no BMW. He said, I was like, I, I guess it was a it was a cool little joke or whatever. But yeah, he traded in his BMW for a Porsche. Uh, so now he's right. But um, how much y'all want to bet that thing is gonna get riddled up with bullets <laughs> at some point um, in this series here? Uh, what else we got? I told you I'm, I'm moving fast, y'all. I'm not, I'm not going to take up too much of y'all time. Um, let's talk about a father's love, man. Lorenzo, um, saved Kane from a bullet. And, uh, this is, you know, starting to change, you know, the relationship back, I guess, to a, you know, uh, a healthy father and son bond now. Um, because Kane was on a power trip in this episode. We, like, we doing this like this. We doing this like this. And everybody's, you know, peeping that uh, it's something between uh, Lorenzo and Kane, right? So, uh, but yeah, so they, they're doing the deal because, um, you know, they have to sell these guns for Noma now. Uh, so, and we had that. The, the good old boys came. There was a shootout. Uh, this is where I have to get into objective hate. Okay. Why? Who, who am I giving the horseman award to? I think it should be drew because <laughs> drew shot the dude in the back. Right. Uh, the, I guess the main guy the, of the CI, we found out to be, um, uh, thing Blanca CI or whatever. And I'm like, y'all just letting him go. <laughs> I'm like, somebody should have chased him down or something. Somebody is, I need to give a horseman award to somebody. Okay. Um, so yeah, they let him go and that's going to come back to bite him in the next coming episodes. The dude is in critical condition, but I think he's going to tell something, um, before he dies. So, um, so yeah, so during the shootout, um, Lorenzo saves Kane. So now Kane is, uh, that they, they're, they're building Lorenzo up. You know, they're making you feel sympathetic for him before he gets capped because Lorenzo is on the clock. Y'all Lorenzo is on the clock. Next episode. I think it's, it's gotta be it. Next episode has to be it, man. And, um, from the look, the, the shirt he was wearing, it looked like that may have been that little photo that was above him in the previews. He's definitely dying. So, uh, I think that was the same outfit. So I think it's this episode coming up anyway. Uh, what else we got here? I, I, I think that's, but that's all I wanted to touch on, uh, before I get into the whole Whitman thing. That was my favorite part of the episode. Of course we had the, you know, the whole land of opportunity part, you know, in the classroom. So, uh, that was, that was a cool part of the episode as well with them stepping up and stepping back and, uh, Effie being all the way in bed. Matter of fact, since I'm talking about Effie, let me, let me play this sound. <laughs> soldier girl all right so um so we got that um I, I think diana she wanted independence uh Tariq wanted family and uh effie wanted freedom something like that so um i thought that was dope um of course snoop let's talk about snoop real quick snoop is closing in y'all my new name for sax is snoop because he stays snooping so now he got, uh, he, he stays taking pictures like this. Um, so he got a snapshot of that number. He's going to find out it's Lauren. He could possibly tell Tariq about it. Maybe we shall see. Um, so that happened. So I think I got all the main points out the way. Let's go ahead and talk about Whitman 187. Uh, come, come up here and get your prize Monet. I, I don't know what to call the, the, the award yet, but, <laughs> uh, I, let's, um, boss G move, G move, G move of the night goes to, um, Monet. <laughs> but anyway, so they set him up real nice and, um, applaud to Diana because I didn't know which way she was going. I didn't know if she was 
actually turning on, you know, turning on her mother because, you know, the whole she wants independence and I guess get her mother out the way. Um, I, it could have went that way, but it ended up, you know, uh, in Monet's favor. She set him up. He's thinking, you know, he's about to get in the house and, you know, get some dirt or whatever. Um, and then he got caught lacking. <laughs> and of course, uh, he got a bullet. Whitman is up out of here. He's now with his former lover. Um, all's well that ends well, right? Uh, could this come back to buy her? It possibly could, but it, it seems like they cover all their bases. I don't see how this would come back, but it could. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it for episode four. Let's go ahead and get into episode five preview. Now here, um, ghosted who will kill Lorenzo? Cause Lorenzo was dying. Lorenzo was dying. Um, I thought possibly it could have been, it could be Kane, but now that they're, they seem like they're bonding again. I don't see it, but, um, I had in the back of my mind, you know, the last season they did the whole, you know, uh, I got to kill my dad thing. Well, if they came back around to it and he had to kill him for real this time. So I, I was thinking about that, but I, a uh, very really unlikely chance. Um, there's somebody with a knife in this previews right here. Um, let me see if I can find my stuff here, but yeah, somebody has a knife. It could possibly be one of the, um, Evelyn's boys, you know, it seems to be like fair skin, light skin, sort of. So, uh, I got a feeling this is the person that's going to kill Lorenzo. Um, but I kind of want Monet to do it. It seems like she's going to be, uh, asking Tariq next episode about, um, you know, uh, he's going to find out who killed Lorenzo. So we find out that it's not, uh, I guess the, whoever the guy was, I forgot the name. It wasn't him. So, um, this is going to further her suspicions that it was Lorenzo. Cause you know, the fingerprints. Um, then we have Tariq and Effie going to Italy. And then I'm thinking they're going to get a visit from Noma. There's, uh, you know, the part in the scene where they said, what are you doing here? So I'm thinking that's Noma, but they show it, whoever it is, it's off screen here. Uh, Brayden looked like he's going to be getting tortured or something right here. I don't know what's going on. He's snooping around somebody's house that he shouldn't have. Uh, so yeah, he's going to be in trouble. And of course, you know, Tariq is going to come to the rescue. Um, I think Noma is probably going to bail them out. That's, that's the only thing I could probably see here, but, um, yeah, that's the only really things that I could pick up from the preview here, but yeah, man, uh, I, I wanted to make this real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. I'm going to try to stay on point next time. So the next review will be a little bit more <laughs> detailed in depth. And uh, cause I feel like I'm all over the place here, but I wanted to get this out before the episode premieres, but yeah, tell me y'all last thoughts before uh, tonight's premiere. I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.